Okay. Okay, I'd like to call the meeting of the St. Louis County Board of Zoning Adjustment to order. The board members present today are Janet Herman, Chairman, Angelia Bills, Vice Chairman, and Justin Randall, member. <clears throat> the BZA coordinator is Debbie Nesbitt, and staff planners are Mel Wilson and Abby Freudel. First, I offer into the record the affidavit of publication pertaining to today's meeting, March 9th, 2022. The, the board hereby takes official notice of and admits into evidence on the record the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance 1003, St. Louis County Revised Ordinance 1974 as amended, and Chapter 1004, St. Louis County Revised Ordinance 1974 as amended. Next, I will call for a motion to approve the minutes of the previous BZA meeting of February 23rd, 2022. So moved. Okay. And I'll second. The hearing procedure is informal, but is a teleconference and is recorded. The planning staff will read each request into the record. The petitioner will be unmuted, state their name, and make a brief presentation to the board explaining the reason and hardship for the request of variance. The board will not consider financial hardships. Board members may ask questions to clarify the facts. When, when the board is satisfied with material presented, the chairperson will then ask if there is anyone in favor or opposition to the request. In, in, to indicate you would like to speak, please click the hand next to your name. If any comments were submitted, the staff will read them into the record. Before a call for the vote, the petitioner may request a continuance in order to bring in additional documentation. The board may also request a continuance to gather additional information or for a visit to the site. Once comments have been heard, the chairperson will call for a vote. At that time, the discussion has ended. A no further discussion is permitted. The board will generally make a decision today. Two members of the board must vote in favor of the petition for it to be approved. If a variance is approved, you have six months to obtain the necessary permits or establish the use requested or the variance will expire. The petitioner or any interested party has a right of appeal to the St. Louis County Circuit Court. This must be done within 30 days of the decision. And paperwork indicating the board's decision will be mailed to the petitioners. Twenty four dash twenty two Rosewood Partners requests an exception <laughs> to the sign regulations for the purpose of replacing an existing development complex sign at seventy five forty five South Limburg Boulevard, maintaining a sign size of two hundred and eighty square feet in lieu of one hundred and fifty square feet as required by the C-8 Planned Commercial District Regulations and Section 1003.168 Sign Regulations of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance and C-8 Ordinance 25775. <clears throat> and as you recall, will recall, this is the petition that um, the planning department wrote a report about. And Mr. Herdlicka, you are unmuted to give your presentation. I believe. Now you're unmuted. Okay. Can you guys hear me? Yes. yes we can. Okay, great. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, um, basically, in a nutshell, <clears throat> there's an existing pylon sign at this location. And our client is doing a lot of renovation to improve the um, existing buildings there. They're redoing the fronts, redoing the EFIS, repainting. And they wanted us to provide a new pylon sign that would match the aesthetics of the new development. The existing sign that is there is about 240 square feet, give or take. And the new sign that we are proposing is 200. It's actually 276 square feet. Um, 
it basically, I think it's fairly straightforward. Um, it's a lot nicer looking sign. It makes sense for the space. Uh, it's a little bit larger in square footage than what is there now. But a lot of what that is, or or most of what that is, that adds more square footage to it, is that now I guess the county counts the um, the poles or the supports or structures as part of the square footage as well, and not just the sign area. And and we felt like those. You know, we felt like this design having the nice um, uprights on either side to match with the new aesthetics of the building uh, that they're investing in and and making improvements to would look nice and be better. Abby, could we go to, back to the picture of the sign, please? The existing sign or the the proposed yeah, design? I want to see the existing. Okay. Okay. Oh, I don't have any other questions, Angela or, or Justin. Do you? Yeah. So um, this is on. Uh, give me a clearer picture of where this is on Lindbergh. Okay, okay. So you know where. Um, <clears throat> Where like the Home Depot, there's a Hooters right there, South Lindbergh. Okay. What is the speed limit over there? Yeah, I know, is it like 35? Um, I'm not exactly sure. It's probably 35 or 40, maybe 45. I'm not a I'm not a hundred percent sure what the speed limit is right there. I'm just trying to get a picture of is this like a busy part of Lindbergh that looks like a highway, or is this a smaller port where it's kind of like a small street? Yeah, so this is right off the this is right off the interstate of 255 in South County. So yeah, this is where Lindbergh ends and it terminates into 255. Right. And so Lee May Ferry is the street sort of just just to the, you know, in the upper left hand corner and then the mall would be uh, in that area as well. Gotcha. Austin, do you have any questions? No. Okay. Angelia, do you have any other questions? No, that was all. Okay. Um, is there anyone on this WebEx that is in favor or opposition? Please hit the hand next to your name to speak. I don't see anyone. Okay, 24-22, uh, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and vote to approve the variance. Um, I do feel that the hardship is to be noticed there. I, I always feel there's a lot going on <laughs> uh, in a, to look at, especially you know, around that area. And um, I, I think the other thing is, I don't, this isn't really a hardship, but I think the, the newer sign will look a lot nicer than what's there and, and uh, more appropriate for, for the site. I second it. I'll concur. Okay, your paperwork will be mailed to you. Okay, great. Well, thank you all very much. I appreciate your time. Okay. Okay, take care guys. Thank you. Thank you. Twenty five dash twenty two David Hess requests an exception to the rear yard regulations for the purpose of constructing an above ground swimming pool and a deck and stairs at nine four four three Tiber Drive, maintaining a rear yard of eight feet in lieu of fifteen feet as required by the R five residence district regulations of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance. <clears throat> Mr. Hess, you are now unmuted to give your presentation. 
Hi, yeah, my name is Charles Hess. I'm representing David while he's out of town. Uh, he's the owner of the property and wanted to make some changes, basically install a small above ground pool in the backyard. Um, let's see if that's, I believe it's the south side of the house. Um, we've spoken to the neighbor whose house is on that side. Um, he has no issue with it. Um, we're also going to extend the fence to connect to his fence. You can see there on the left, it's going to come forward and then wrap around to completely enclose the pool area. Um, we've got no power lines anywhere near where we're looking to build the small pool. Uh, there will also be a small deck addition um, attached to the existing deck, kind of connecting that to the pool. Okay, what are we looking at right now? That blacktop driveway you're looking down is actually runs to the back of the property in question. Uh, so and that red deck at the end is kind of the pool will be right in front of that. In front of it? It'll be basically on the blacktop. We'll be removing some of the blacktop to put the pool in. There's another driveway on the front of the house. Okay. So it would be where the driveway is there, where the blacktop is there. Yeah. Yeah. Zoomed in, it'll be um, in the larger section of the blacktop in the back, closer to that red deck. Okay. At first, when you said in the back, I thought between the, the deck and the other fence, I'm almost going to say like oh, that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so, um, so that's a backyard there, a rear yard? Correct, yeah. That's the rear of the house. We're right on, we're a corner lot. Mm -hmm. And you said you've, you sp I'm sure we sent paper, paperwork to the neighbors, but you've spoken to your neighbors also? Yeah, and we submitted a uh, signed document from him, uh, basically just saying he was okay with it. That should be included in there. Yes, I did receive a, a letter with the application that's from the neighbor. Okay. Um, I guess, yeah, so, so I guess your heart, what is your hardship? Um, basically, the it's kind of weird because we're on a corner lot, but the existing um, regulation is it has to be is the edge of the pool has to be 15 feet from the edge of the property line, um, where we would be putting it would be shorting it shortening it to eight feet within the property line of Chris, the owner of the house behind us. So it's basically just shortening the 15 feet to eight feet. And is that because that's the best place for the pool to go or the only place for the pool to go? Yeah, that's yeah. the only place. Abby, could we, could we, I'd like to see the, a picture of the lot again, please. Okay, thank you. Um, let's see. Or did you want, do you want the aerial as well or instead? I would like to see the aerial, I think, please. Okay, so, <clears throat> so, so, um, so number R5 there would be on that blacktop that's showing on the left. So it looks like really, I guess there is no other place besides the front yard. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Justin, yeah. do you have? No, I'm assuming there's nowhere, I mean, yeah, there's just not much space with that being a corner lot. Yeah. Um, Angela, do you have any other questions? No, I have no further questions. Okay. Is there anyone on this WebEx that's in favor or opposition to this? Please hit the hand next to your name to speak. I don't see anyone. And then 25 to, I'm going to vote to approve the variance as advertised. Uh, the hardship just being the, uh, the shape of the lot and the fact that it's a corner lot with little space. I'll second. I'll concur. Oh, all right. Your paperwork will be sent to you. Excellent. Thank you all so much. Mm -hmm. <clears throat>
26-22 Aiden Enterprises LLC requests an exception to the front and side yard regulations for the purpose of constructing a new single family residence at 614 DeMervo Avenue, maintaining a front yard of seven feet in lieu of 20 feet for the front porch and stairs and a side yard of four feet in lieu of six feet for the home as required <laughs> under the R5 residence district regulations of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance. Okay, you are unmuted to give your presentation. Good afternoon, this, I'm Amir, I'm representing Aiden Enterprises. And uh, basically what we are trying to do is, um, we have a problem with, you know, lot being as narrow as it is and um, trying to get the room sizes uh, of the house to be um, somewhat livable. Um, we're trying to stay at this 25 feet uh, width of the house. And um, the the front variance is basically, uh, for the most part, is just the, the sidewalk and staircase. We push the house back to uh, 35 feet to kind of match the uh, existing left and right construction uh, constructed homes. And uh, our porch is only four feet, the, the front porch. So everything else pretty much kind of steeps down as the steps and uh, sidewalk to the house. Um, the problem with the side back, if we go to a six foot uh, side back, house would be so narrow and it just doesn't, it doesn't look, um, close to the houses that are already there. And uh, like I said, the, the rooms would be really minimal and uh, it just, it wouldn't work for the, what we're trying to do. The, the looks of the house interior and exterior. Could I just um, input with a lot this size, this narrow, he would be allowed five foot side yards on each side. So actually he could move the house over one foot and meet the meet the uh, setback. And then he'd have one foot less less on the other side and he'd be five feet there too. So that would eliminate the side yard variance. That was my other option to to ask if we could do that because i would not we don't have anything uh on the way to actually prevent us from pushing the house another foot to the to the right yeah okay well, that sounds that sounds like a good idea then um abby could could we have could i see the picture of the um of the um houses on that street please you know, aerial view again, please. Thank you. Okay. All right, thank you. I I don't have any other questions. Justin, do you? I, no, I guess is, are, is the applicant willing to move the the building a foot so that it doesn't have to get the side yard setback variant? Absolutely. Okay. Um, um, no, uh, that's my only question. Okay. Uh, is there anyone on this WebEx that is in favor or opposition to this request? Please hit the hand by your name to speak. I do not see anyone. Okay. So can you put back up the uh, requested variances? And did you guys, I mean, I'm not super familiar with this. I guess this would be more for staff. Is the front setback 
generally um, a little bit shorter in this general vicinity with other houses? The front setback would normally be 20 feet, but the houses uh, on either side and a couple more are set back even further. So this house would actually be in line with the existing homes there. Okay, just, so they're only set back a few feet as well. Oh, no, they're set back quite a bit, actually, more wow. than 20. But this is only for the stairs and the porch. Uh, okay, so the rest of the house would still be back further. Yeah, the house is actually more than meeting the setback. Okay, all right. Thank you. Um, in the matter of case 26 22, uh, I recommend approval of the requested front yard uh, variance to seven feet to allow for the construction of the porch and stairs. I'll second. I'll second. I'll second. I'll second. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, and then I'll go back to second. But also, just for the record, then uh, the um, I'm sorry, I forgot the gentleman's name. Is, is, yes. Okay. And so you are going to move the house so it's got five feet setback on either side. Absolutely. I will get my architect to move that immediately. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're we're all set, and uh, we'll be sending you your pa paperwork in the mail. Thank you so much, you guys. Have a great day. Well, thank you. Twenty seven dash twenty two Aaron Phelps requests an exception to the side yard regulations for the purpose of converting an existing carport to an enclosed garage at forty one thirty five Sweet Gum Drive, maintaining a side yard of two feet in lieu of six feet as required by the R five residence district regulations of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance. Mr. Hello? McManus, yes, you are unmuted to give your presentation. Yeah, um, this is uh, Tim McManus. I'm representing uh, Aaron Phelps. Um, the I talked to Debbie yesterday about um, it was actually four foot. I just wanted to go two foot bigger, and um, for the for the building, it, it's at the the where it is right now is at six foot. And he just wants to be able to get his car door open a little more because the way it is right now, it's kind of too tight for his car door. And then the only other question I would have is, um, is it four foot to the wall on the building? And then I can have like a foot of soft fit and fascia or would it be the absolute edge of the building? It would be. Oh. I'm sorry. Does, does anybody know? Usually it's the eave, isn't it, Debbie? I think. Uh, no, it's the uh, from the edge of the building. You you're allowed 18 inches of overhang for the okay for the soffits. Oh. So then I would just want the four foot, um, you know, four foot to the property line, and then I would only do one foot to match the the rest of the building as an overhang. So, and that's all I'm asking for. Okay, so we're changing the two feet to four feet in little six feet. Uh, does anybody have any other questions? I don't. Angelia, do you have any questions? No, I don't. Uh, is there anyone here that's in favor or opposition to this? Please hit the hand next to your name to speak. Um, we had one call in user who previously said they had a, a I believe, a Comment. Hold on one moment. Um, Miss Elking, you are unmuted to give your comment. Thank you. I think you uh, explained uh, what I was asking. What he wants to do is in his six assessment easement, he wants to use four of his uh, uh, feet, correct? No. Well, yeah, I mean, it, usually the buildings are six feet. They're supposed to be six feet of 
to his property line from the garage and he's asking to have it at four feet so um it would be two feet shorter but still on his on his property on his property i i i live in the home next to his where the garage is so i would still have my six feet correct yes yes okay yeah that's what that i did not understand that i wanted to make sure that yeah that i still had my I think six it would feet. Be... It would be, um, what is it, four foot? It'd be 10 foot. It would be, you would, there'd be 10 foot between the buildings, I believe. Yes. So, so I can understand why the caller would be, you know, questioning it because that would, two feet would be awfully close. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, for a minute, yeah. I mean, I, I've never went through this before. So I wasn't sure uh, what actually it was meaning. And I don't want to be, Two or even four feet uh, that close. Right. To someone so else. you still have your six feet, and then there's four feet on the other side. So, and like okay, said, that's said, fine. Be, be ten feet. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Alrighty. Okay. Okay. All right. So, uh, Abby, was that the only person? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and vote twenty-seven dash twenty-two. I'm going to vote. Uh, so we have changed this to say maintaining a side yard of four feet in lieu of six feet, and I'm gonna vote in favor of that. Uh, because uh, I think, you know, uh, everybody likes to have a garage, they have their cars um, safely set away. And uh, I can see from this that it would be nicer to have a little, room, little roomier, so. I second it. Uh... I'll, I'm not going to confirm or concur. Okay, uh, Mr. McManus, so two of us have approved it, so we'll send you your paperwork in favor. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. -do. Appreciate your time. Uh -huh. Okay, I guess I'll see you all in another two weeks, unless you're off on, on spring break somewhere. <laughs> Good.